It's been over 30 years since we last, over 30 years since we last had public transportation. We're having our kickoff event for our new service in Warren. We're having, uh, adding six new routes, fixed routes in Warren and a couple county county-wide routes to provide new service up here. I will say it's been a labor of love, but it's been a lot of work. Uh, and it actually started from, from a, a dysfunctional um, system that we had. Uh, no fault to the participants, um, but there were just some reporting errors and, and there was a triannual review by the federal government uh, that cited some of these these problems and put them in a non-fundable status. So our work was started out with being pretty much damage control and seeing how we could get tr public transportation uh, back to where it was. Well, we did a step, we went a step further. Now we've enhanced our public transportation and we have true public transportation with six routes plus Warren Express. What were the things you were considering when you said this bus goes here? So that, that was uh, really to serve a couple of purposes. One, people to jobs, uh, to doctor appointments, to school, and to shopping. So there's four key things. And plus then the na network of the roads also made it how we had to make the routes go. So it's, it's been a long time in the making. It was one of the uh, silent campaigns when I first became mayor that I kept hearing over and over again, we need public transportation, we need public transportation. So it's, it's gratifying to actually come up on this day uh, where this is actually becoming a reality. We fought very hard for, in the transportation budget, money for programs like this. I work with the county commissioners and the Trumbull County Transit Director, trying to find ways to provide more service and connection between Warren, Trumbull County, and Youngstown and Mahoney County. So the state of Ohio had a grant program and we were able to apply for funding to provide this service. One of, one of the things that businesses want to know is does, does our workforce have access to public transportation and getting back and forth to work every day? Uh, we were able to check that box with today's announcement. So that helps the uh, in passengers by getting them to work on time. Uh, the buses, if they break down, we can replace them so people don't have to worry about their cars breaking down. And it's scheduled so they know when the bus will be there and when they'll get to the work. I, I can't tell you, I can't ex put it into words how excited I am. Uh, just because I, I know I've been hearing all of the, um, the demand and, and all of the push for public transportation. So I'm, I'm ex extremely excited to be taking the first ride and, and I hope to take many more. And I hope uh, after we review this that there's more of a demand and we can expand our routes. Hopefully if it's, if it's successful, the Trumbull County Commissioners will look at uh, continuing the service or if the state can provide funding. Um, that really hasn't been decided yet, but it would be nice if we could continue to provide service in Warren and Trumbull County to make it a multi-county uh, region. You go to our website, wrtonline.com. We have a link right to, it's called Warren, and it provides all the different routes we have. It has an overall map of the service area. And that's the easiest way to do it. Businessjournaldaily.com. Three Minutes With is brought to you by... I want to retire knowing we did it right. We want... To know that it's been worth something. It's worth everything. Be intentional about your worth. Farmers National Bank Wealth Management.